Hello, welcome. In this short video, I will discuss the basic properties of a uniform distribution. Consider a uniform distribution that has a value 1 by B minus A, where B and A are the limits of the distribution. And so mathematically, this is defined as u of mathematically it is defined as u of x given a comma b or u of x with the parameters a comma b equal to 1 by b minus a when x is between a and b and 0 elsewhere. So given this distribution function what are the parameters? The first one is what is the area under this curve? Since this, this is a probability distribution function or probability density function, since this is a probability density function, the area should be 1. So, let us verify that. Since this has values only within this interval, in the integral has this limit a to b and the value is 1 by b minus a dx. So, which is equal to 1 by b minus a into x with the limits a comma b which is basically b minus a by b minus a equals 1. Hence the area under this distribution function is 1 and this is a this is true because this is a probability density function a proper pro probability density function. The second property is the mean of this distribution that is e of x which is defined by integral x u of x given x with parameters a comma b. So, when you use the definition it becomes a integral a to b x times 1 by b minus a dx which equals 1 by b minus a x square by 2 and with the limits a and b which is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by b minus a multiplied by b square minus a square. So, by simple algebra it is b plus a by by simple algebra it is b plus a by b minus a into b minus a by 2 which is equal to a plus b. So, hence the expectation or the mean of a uniform distributed random variable is a plus b by 2. And finally, the third property or the third value is the variance which is defined as expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. So, we already know this value. So, now we have to find expectation of x square which is equal to integral x square uniform distribution given the parameters a comma b which dx which is equal to integral a to b x square 1 by b minus a dx which is equal to 1 by b minus a x cube by 3 with limits a and b which is equal to 1 by 3 into 1 by b minus a into b cube minus a cube and then this is equal to now, uh, factorizing this difference b cube minus a cube as b minus a multiplied by a square plus b square plus a b divided by 3 times b minus a. Hence, the expectation of x square is equal to a square plus b square plus a b divided by 3. So, the variance of x is given by e of x square minus e of x whole square. So, which is equal to a square plus b square plus a b by 3 minus. We already know that expectation of x is given by a plus b by 2. So, which is a plus b by 2 whole square. Now, by simple algebraic manipulations, we can easily show that this is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b by 12. Hence, the variance of x 
is given by a minus b whole square by 12. Thanks for watching.